All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Baku Garage, where DeHart and Wickers are gonna have a pretty fun match tonight. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take two starter kits yes. that I have purchased, and these are them right here. So we're gonna have a battle against two Battle Planet starter kits. The first one over here that I have is the Garganoid Aquos Garganoid Ultra uh, starter kit from Battle Planet. Garganoid Ultra, it's got a B power of 300, a damage of 5, and then it has a Ventus Fangzor with a B of 300, damage of 3, and Darkus Hydrus, 300 B, 4 damage. Pretty generic people. That's my team. Wickers, who do you have? Uh, Alright, so I, starting from, of course, the right, I have a Aquos Fangzor with a B power of 600 and an attack power of we have a Hydros, Hydrus Ultra <laughs> Pyrus um, with a B power of 300 and an attack power of 5. And then my final Bakugan is Nihilus, who is a Chaos. Nihilus. Nihilus? Yeah. What did I say? Nihilus? Nihilus. Nihilus. It's all good. <laughs> Two headed dragon, Nihilus. That's fine. Um, he's um, a Chaos with 300 B power and also 5 attack. Awesome. So this is going to be our tutorial video of how to play the game. We're starting with two basic starter kits and we're just going to talk through uh, what the cards mean, how to play, how to energize, rolling, adding up B power, everything. Um, so we're going to get to it. We're going to close our Bakugan really quick first though. Okay, back again. As you probably saw when we fast forwarded, closing these boxes on our heart. <laughs> okay, so here's the game. Um, you know what, we should probably, we do need to do this from the start because this is how you start. So we were gonna leave these out here, but we actually need to bring these back to show you how to start the match. So uh, if you can tell, each card has two different cores and symbols of what cores belong with the Bakugan. You can choose any type of Fire Fist or Helix that comes with Garganoid Ultra as you collect them, um, but he has to have a Helix and a Fire Fist. So I have six, Wickers has six. I do. And what we do is this, you would flip a coin or flip a core, uh, whatever you think heads and tails is, like we've always played. This is heads, Wickers call it. Heads. It was tails, so I get to put mine first. So the strategy here is some of these can be traps, like a minus 300 or a minus damage. Um, others are boosters. So this, this helix for me is plus 300, plus three. Um, I think all the cores I have in here. Oh, there is a trap. There is a trap. A trap is like a negative. That's what we call it. So minus five attack for this fire fist. So this would be something that I would put on Wicker's side. So just to start, um, I'm going to start putting cores on the board. I put one and then Wickers puts one. So, you know, I'll have them open at me as I'm looking and putting them down. So here's my, well, it's my trap. It's next to another one, maybe he'll forget. <laughs> I'm just counting to make sure that my, my Bakugan will roll from two card lengths away. So the rule is that you have to roll from no closer than two card lengths away. So, just a quick check right there, that's what I was doing. Um, another thing that you have with these starter kits is they come with 40 cards. Each deck has 40 cards. So we and Wickers have shuffled our decks. They're right here in front of us. These are our character cards. You can start with them face down and try to surprise somebody when you flip them up, but just for the sake of this, we're gonna keep them up. Um, round one, we draw six cards. Six cards. Well, you draw five, and then you draw one for the first turn. So round one, six. we're going to end up drawing six. So we each draw our six. Uh, 
And then what you do is each turn, once a turn, unless you have a card that says otherwise, you energize a card. So you will take it and put it face down and that becomes your energy, one per turn, like I said, that you can use to pay for cards and their effects. So I put down a card that was a flip card. A flip card can't be used as an action from your hand. It's just something that you, um, if somebody's doing damage and you, and you pull a flip card like this as you're doing damage, you can pay the energy to sometimes stop the damage or do another action. So you'll see that later as we go. I'm gonna energize my flip card because it's no good for me in my hand. Then what we do, the fun part, is we roll. And you always have a chance to play a card before you roll if you want to. I don't have any. I don't have any. And I want to play. Yet. Okay, so pick your Bakugan. I'm gonna, we just did the rolling tutorial before this game, so we're, me and Wickers are just gonna, you know, roll our best here. And we're going to try to get our course. So then you can count down. You could say 3, 2, 1, Brawl, which is what we'll do just for the heck of it. 3, 2, 1, Brawl. <gasps> I, spent, I spent all that time doing a video, and my first roll, I can't pick up the core I want. That's wonderful. Okay, so I, I didn't open my guy. I can't play this turn unless I had a re-roll card. So I'm going to keep my Garganoid Ultra closed. Alright, and so I just deal with damage, which is on my card. Or my character card, which is one. There we go. So one means that I take one card off from the top. And I put it in my discard pile. This is my discard pile. So when I run out of cards, I lose. If he runs out of cards first, he loses. Um, at this point, we all have a chance to play a card if we want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I'm not. I'm done. I can't. So then what we say is, next turn, draw. And then you energize again. Okay. You can play a card now if you want, or you just pick your Bakugan to roll. And what you see Wickers did is he won the battle, so he kept his Bakugan open. When he opens all three, he gets to do a team attack, so we'll talk about that when it happens. So when you win a, a brawl, you keep your Bakugan open. Three, two, one, brawl. Ah, oh, tables have turned. <laughs> okay, so my core says plus 300B. I'd, plus, I'd add the 300B from the core to my character card score, so that's 600, but he didn't open, so I don't even have to do that. What I do is I just go straight to my damage, five plus the damage on my core, three. Five plus three is eight, so he discards eight cards. That flip card could have stopped the damage, um, stopped non pyrus mine is Aquos, but he had to pay three energy. He doesn't have that yet because he only has two, so he just keeps flipping. There was eight cards. So the turn is over. My Garganoid Ultra keeps his core on him. I don't put it back. And we draw a card. And then we choose to discard a card. Energize. Sorry, energize. Thank you. Don't discard it. <laughs> energize it. You can choose not to energize if you don't want to. He might be ahead of me in energy. Um, but if I have good cards, for whatever reason, I have a strategy, I don't have to energize if I don't want to. I'm going to play this Fangzor, and just a thing here, this Fangzor, he has a wording on his card that when this guy opens, opposing Bakugan, get minus one attack. So, that's kind of a cool thing there. Different Bakugan have different boosts. I'm just counting back six cores from the core I want to pick up because I know I can pick it up. Three, two, one, brawl. All right, they both opened. We picked it up slowly, well, kind of slowly, because sometimes they pick up two cores. 
So I'm going to add up mine. I'm at 600. You're at 600? Okay, I'm at 300. Ooh. All right. Yeah. We get to play the game a little bit. All right. If I'm ahead 300, Wickers is going to turn cards and make a move. All right. So I'm going to tap these two cards right here, these two energy cards. And I'm going to play a card called Fire Boost, which costs two energy, which is why I turn these two cards. So I can no longer use these cards for the remainder of my turn, including the damage trays. So there is kind of a strategy behind this if you do want to actually keep some energy, if you know that you're not going to have enough cards to actually get your B power up, if you do have cards in here that can stop another person's attack. And so, I'm going to play this. This gives me plus 400, so I'm now at 700. Alright, 700 to 600. He is one ahead of me. So, my turn to do something, if I can respond. This is funny, this is the only thing I can do. I can turn, or tap three, sideways, to play my card Storm Generator for three energy plus 300 B. So I am at 900. Okay, Wickers is at seven. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go into one of the fun mechanics of the game. Oh man, don't tell me. So I have um, this card right here called Greater Water Boost, which costs zero, so I'm not gonna turn any of these cards. But it's an action card that gives me plus 100 B power to my open Bakugan. So I am now at, what am I, 800? You're at? I'm at 800. Oh, 800. Yeah, so this is 500 plus 300, so I'm at 800. And I'm at 900. But plot twist. <laughs> and he's got two, two of them. <laughs> nice. So now we're going to go into sudden death, I would call it. Yeah, the tiebreaker. And what we know about the tiebreaker is... We flip the top card of our deck, whoever has the highest energy cost wins the battle. So, three, two, one, who has the highest? Mine's one. Mine's also one. So, you discard these cards and then you keep on going until somebody gets a higher energy card. Yeah, if, if we're wrong on that, we'll correct it, but you discard the, that's what we think. No. Two. Okay, so, I think we're doing that right. I'm gonna have to do a rule check and put it up there for doing this wrong, but I win, so I keep my guy open. Mine was two, his was one. He loses, so he has to put his core back. And I can put it anywhere. And he can put it anywhere. So that was actually the negative five, and he put it on my side. So this card I played, it also goes into the discard pile. Um, so now we're gonna do the damage. Yes. And I gotta check my core again, it's just 300. So this is three, Three damage. So, one, two. All right. So we recharge our energy. We turn them back up. We can use them again the next turn. And then we're going to draw one. And we're going to energize one. Three, two, one, roll. Did you get it? I did. Oh, look at this. So I'm gonna try to go slow because, oh no, he doesn't pick up two. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it was minus five. Sweet. I, don't, I didn't think I was aiming for this, but I got the minus five. Okay, I'm at 300. I'm at 900. 900. Yes. All right. So this one was kind of a double-edged sword for me. So this core right here, it gives me plus 600 B power, but then I lose three of my attack power which is more than half, so that's pretty bad. Yeah, because he starts at five. I start at five, and so now I'm at two. If you don't do any other cards, you're at two. Uh-huh. Um, okay, I'm at three, you're at nine. Yes. I don't have any cards that's gonna close the gap of 600. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just... Um, Roll with it. I'm gonna call it good. Okay. Close my hand, give me the damage. <laughs> uh, two. Two, all right. One, let's keep this face up. Two. Well, that's funny. So this is a good card for me. Yes. But it was bad timing. 
This is a stop card for Darkest, Cease Outsiders. Stop non-Darkest attacks. He is Heos, um, so that means if I, if I was turning more cards, I could have turned three energy and stopped the attack. No more discarding cards. But that was my last card anyways, so I'm done. I couldn't use it. And I lost, so I put my core back on his side, because I don't want that one, it's a bad one. <laughs> Close my Bakugan, and I'm just gonna roll him again. I'm gonna draw. Energize if you will. These Bakugan, if we didn't already say it, <clears throat> we would have been the rolling tutorial, but there's an arrow that suggests the best way to roll it. So we look for our arrows and we roll it that way after we're <clears throat> finding our diff distance from the core we want. Three, two, one, roll. Oh, I pushed it. Not the one I was aiming for, but son of a gun. Still one. I don't have any re-rolls in my hand, so I am just... Gonna take the team attack. We've made it that far. Wow. First team attack. So tell them what a team attack does. Alright, so because I've opened all three of my Bakugan, and because he saw, or I guess just because I've opened all three of mine, I get to add up all of the attacks and cores that are on my Bakugan, and that is gonna be the total attack that he now faces. So I get to add five plus five plus one, and then minus three. So that's 11 minus three. So my f team attack is eight. Oh boy, eight. One, I'm being particular, two, <laughs> three. Draw a card. So I can do one energy to draw a card with this flip card. So I'm gonna turn one, I get to draw a card to my hand. That was three, four, five, six, six. This one is a Repel Outsider, Stop Non-Ventus. So what I can do now is I have enough to pay the cost, three energy. I turn it, I stop the attack at six. Yep. So I saved myself two more damage to eight. So now the turn's over. And what Wickers has to do is close all of his Bakugan now. So we're gonna fast forward another <laughs> Good five minutes of me trying to close Hydra's Ultra and we'll be back. For real. Yeah. Woo! Okay. We need a tutorial for closing Hydra's Ultra. I didn't draw a card yet for this turn. I didn't either. Draw a card. And Andros, if you would like. Energize. Three, two, one, roll. Oh, I pushed it. I felt it. Gladly take that. I felt it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So since you can't really do much, I'm just going to Evo. So this is an evolution card. So these are cards that are in your deck that cost energy, but they are like Bakugan. So they remain permanent in the game, and they um, power for Bakugan basically. So I'm going to drop this on my Hypernilius. Right, Milius? Okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> and so now he gains an extra 200 B power and uh, plus one attack. But he also now has an effect that if I land on this magical shield or this flaming fist, for the magical shield, I would gain 200 B power. And for the flaming fist right here, I would gain an additional two attack power. So that means that Wickers is going to definitely aim for those cores. He adds the core plus the B power plus the effect for the shield. So a magic shield at 600 would be 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 2 is 1300 that he would be at. Pretty powerful, so evils are cool.
So he evoed. I did evo. And then the core that I have right here is a great fist with plus 50 V power and plus 2 attack. So currently, I am at 8 attack. 8. And unfortunately for me, uh, in this deck, I don't have... I actually energized my card that reduced negative attack. attack so <laughs> I'm going to be taking all of it right now unless I get a flip card. Of course. 1, 2, 3... So this flip for me is stop Heos or Ventus for one energy. Good. Which is super lucky for me because it's, I just happened to roll my one Heos. Heos, good. Yeah, and Wickers doesn't even have a Ventus, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now what we're going to do is re-energize. Re-energize. Start the next turn by drawing and energizing. Energize again. Second turn now. Okay. I'm making that rolling tutorial little video look really bad. <laughs> I mean, you didn't miss a roll in the tutorial. You know what, though? Some Bakugan, like this Fangzor I was using, are easier to roll than others. Oh, for sure. Very. And um, I don't know, for some reason, I'm having a tough time with Hydras over here. Need some more practice with him. Three, two, one, roll. Oh, <gasps> and my hand slipped. Oh, I slipped on some cards. Fortunate for me. All right, so this is actually a plus five damage fire fist or attack. We're kind of using damage and attack interchangeably here. Um, oh no! Poor riders. <laughs> okay, so I got plus five and then four on his card. So I'm at nine damage. Plus it's my team attack because all three are open. So nine. Plus three, uh, is 12, 17, plus three right here is 20. So we're at 20 damage. 20 damage. I just realized too, I, I said that when this guy opens, the opponent takes minus one damage. I don't know if we even did that effect. It's I forgot. So if you forget, you forget, you're in trouble. But right if now, you pay attention and you have good attention to detail, then you'll be fine at this. Yes. I don't even think I have 20 cards left. Um, I'm going to do something fun too for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm going to turn 5 of my energy. That was 4 plus 1 is 5. I'm going to tap 5. I'm going to play Garganoid Ultra's Evo. Um, so that adds another... Well, it's only 1. It adds 1 attack right now, so 21. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm at 21 damage. Typically, um, these decks are made up about 40 cards. So if you don't have a good like attack or like good defense, you're gonna be screwed. So I'm gonna hope that I have some of my flip cards still in here that allow me to block part of this attack. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Hey, there we go. So I'm going to pay my 3 energy and I am going to stop the attack. There you go. Three cards left. Three cards left. Dang. That was close, man. Very close. And um, if he runs out of cards, I have to keep doing damage to beat him. Yes, you have to win to get, you actually have to beat the person in order to beat him. You can't just, it's not like you, you, were, you run out of cards, well, that's it. You have to actually win one last battle in order to inflict the damage on him. Yeah, one extra battle after, one extra damage after he gets to zero cards. Yes. Or me, if we, if it comes to that. Okay, so re-energize, draw. Go. Potentially the last turn. <laughs> I'm right at the edge here. So you can kind of tell like naturally we turned this matrix into a straight line. Um, That's kind of how this ends up working. Yeah, we know what we're aiming for, so we just lined it up straight in front of us. Okay. Three, two, one, roll. 
Oh, so this is me personally, just my <laughs> my weakness. Some ultras for me are harder to roll, and I totally rolled him to the right. Missed it. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna pay another one energy. Use this card. This card is called Fireball. It is a Pyros card that um, allows me to deal an extra three damage for the cost of one. So that's actually probably one of the better cards in this deck, I would say. Because one for three is definitely a good trade-off, especially if your opponent doesn't open, which is why I have this card. And so, yeah. So now my damage is at four. Four. He started. Oh wait, no. Four plus three, because I didn't. I forgot. I have this flaming fist four, which is two hundred fifty B power plus um, three attack. So I'm at seven. Seven. All right. I don't have any cards to play right now, so I'm just gonna turn my own one. Two, three, ooh, those, those are right next to each other. Four, five, six, seven. I don't think I have a lot of stops left. I have five more cards in my deck. <laughs> I have, oh, I, I have three. Three. And you know what, we're going to draw one too, so. Yeah, so this is where things start to go over this draw. I just drew a second Garganoid Ultra, and this is an easy one for me to energize because I already have him Evo, so. Easy choice, I don't have to get rid of something I want to use. I guess that's also kind of important to mention because for Bakugan, you can only have one evolution. You, like, if you have more than one evolution in your deck and they have different stats, you can only have one. And then, yeah, so the first one that you play is the one that you have. Yeah, and you can play more evils on top of the second one. Yes. If you wanted to, but you can only have one at a time. So this evil that I had, it's the same evil. These are two cards that are the same. But this one's Titan Garganoid Ultra. If I had, say, like a Hyper Garganoid Ultra, different card, I could pay the energy and, you know, change my Evo to the new Evo if I wanted to. And you can do that as much as you want. Um, but, you know, you can't use the second, same one twice, so he's energized. All right. 70. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I did that. Yeah, we drew. We are I discarded. Oh, my gosh. I don't know, here's my strategy too, is this guy is my strongest right now for winning the battle, but I can't roll him straight. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to still use him again, and I'm going to go for it. Three, two, one, roll. Oh! I landed on the trap. Did you? I did. Well, I am at 1,200. <laughs> 1,200. Yeah. Woo! Okay, do you do anything that will get me up to 1,200? I hope not. <laughs> well, it's your lucky day because I cannot. Really? Nope. Okay. All right. So, so it's, uh, it's 6 plus 3. So 9. 9. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. If you don't have a flip in there. What? 1. Two, and that's the game. That's it. I got lucky. I had four cards left. That was a close game. That was actually pretty fun. That was really fun. Okay. So, yeah, two starter decks. Gargoyle Ultra for me, Hydra's Ultra for Wickers. What'd you think? Did you like it? I, they're definitely different. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not what I'm used to. I'm definitely used to more of like the fusion play and like more defensive decks, but I had a, it was fun. Yeah, no, I like... It was an interesting dynamic behind the whole deck, which I thought was fun. Yeah, what I noticed too is, as you can see, we're we're learning this, and we didn't hit every single roll. I don't think any of these decks had re-roll cards. You can yes. play a card and re-roll if you miss, so that's helpful for beginners like us. Um, but pretty fun. It'd be a quick game if it wasn't a tutorial, so you can knock these out in anywhere from like fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah. Um, but cool. If you like this, subscribe, give us a like. We're going to keep making more advanced videos and get better at Bakugan. That's the plan. See you later from the Baku Garage. <laughs>